Class in session, guys. All right. So I'm going to be dropping the F-bomb quite a lot in this video. So if you're one of those people that are afraid of bad language, you best click off this video right now. Because the message I'm about to drop to you in this video is SHUT THE FUCK UP! SHUT THE FUCK UP! Now what do I mean by this? Have you ever been in a situation where someone is just going on and on and on and in your mind you're like SHUT THE FUCK UP! Now you've probably been in that situation before but let me get serious with you right now. See we can also talk ourselves out of opportunities because we talk way too much. And it basically just makes you look so desperate for what it is that you say you want. All right, I'll give you an example, right? Let's say you're gonna go um, to a job interview, right? And you know, you go in, you're sitting there and you got the interviewer who's sitting opposite you. And you know, they'll ask you a few questions. You give them some answers and you, inwardly, you know if that interview is going well. But here's the thing, when we, when we get overly confident, we just start yapping and don't know when to shut the fuck up. Like if they say to you like, oh, you know, you know, it's been a great interview, you know, happy, you know, we'll definitely be in touch. And then you continue to start talking. Shut the fuck up. Like you are basically talking yourself out of the opportunity. See, we kind of develop these things where we have to try and oversell ourselves to people. When you try and oversell yourself to someone, you look desperate. It makes you look weak. Shut the fuck up. Like you've been in a situation. Shut the fuck up. It's like, all right. Let's say man likes woman and he goes to um, approach the woman, chirps her now, or vice versa. You know, you know, what's your name? Blah, blah, blah. Or all the basic stuff, you know, kind of just get that little bit of the conversation out the way. And then you start telling her your flipping life story and you hardly know the chick. Shut the fuck up. Like, you just keep chatting, bro. Like, what the hell? Stop overselling yourself because it is making you look weak. This is deep. Like, to oh, at all, guys, I'm telling you now, I have oversold myself before. I oh my God. I remember many years ago in 2007, right? I remember I auditioned for uh, a long running um, doc, uh, no, a, lo a long running medical drama for British TV, right? Went past two rounds of auditions and there was basically five people left in, in, in the casting, right? And I remember at the end of the casting, right, I was so confident that this was mine, right? In the last audition, pretty much after the audition, I sat there, right? And then I started to oversell myself. And this came out of desperation, right? And I remember when my agent called me and I never, and I never got the part. And then she actually said to me, Samuel, for that last audition, why did you continue to talk afterwards? Shut the fuck up! Shut the fuck up! Yo! I oversold myself and I never realized it. And I was gutted. Man, that would have set me up for a long time financially, guys. I ain't gonna lie, man. But I'm just saying, I'm just saying, guys, like, shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. You got this, man. Be confident, but don't be overly confident. Just shut the fuck up. Just shut the fuck up. And allow the shit to happen, man. Allow the shit to happen. This is Bent Vision dropping you a new video. Comment, like, subscribe, tap the bell button for notifications. Holler back.